everyone, Sophia here from mygreatchallenge.blogspot.com. This is Scott. You remember him? Yes, it is. I just want to let you know I'm starting a new series for Thanksgiving. We're going to do a kind of like a day in the life for the entire week of Thanksgiving. Today is Sunday. What? Yes, we are. We are. So what we're going to do is uh, today I have to prepare the list for all of the shopping I need to do for Thanksgiving. I'm going to take you out shopping with me and is that your bold spot? It's pretty bad, huh? You get, we're getting old. Are we getting old? Hi, Willie. Hi, Mom. What's up? Not much. Okay, bye. So that's it. We're doing a day in the life. And a lot of you have asked me, Sophia, when are you going to do your Q&A, uh, question and answer. I know you guys have asked a lot of questions and we're always very busy over the weekend. So we are going to do one right now and that's going to be our first uh, answer for the Q&A. It's gonna be included in the um, day in the life Thanksgiving prep all the way up to Thursday. So here's the first question you guys have asked. How did Scott and I meet? Take it away, Scott. <laughs> I just put him on the spot. He had no idea I was going to do that. Come on, how did we meet? I can't wait to hear it. Okay, well, you know, uh, so, so I was going to go see a movie. Which movie? It was horrible. You don't need to know. It was horrible. I can tell you it was... Uh, Species 2, <laughs> was it? You didn't have to say that. <laughs> I know it's embarrassing. You didn't have to say <laughs> With sci-fi buffs. <laughs> all right, so he went to see uh, Species 2. So how did we meet? Uh, all right, so I had about an hour before the movie started, and um, up the street was this restaurant that I had never been to. So uh, I went to the restaurant just to get a quick bite to eat before the movie started, and Sophia was my waitress. And I had a book called Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which I just picked up at Barnes & Noble. It's a great book, link down below, by the way, if you want to check it out. So I had that out on the counter. I was sitting at the, at the counter, and, um, and, and Sophia walked by and, and said, hey, what's that? And uh, we started talking. What year was that? Um, 2014. <laughs> what year was it? <laughs> uh, 98. Mm, yeah, 1998. Which day? April 12th. All right. That was not rehearsed. He remembered. Okay. So, <clears throat> what? I don't remember. You, well, you had it right. <laughs> not bad for a guess. So anyway, so this is how we met. We met at a restaurant. I was a student in New York City. Were you working at the time? Yeah, I was. I, I was working at Magnet. Magnet Pictures. Yeah. What were you doing? I was doing After Effects work. I was uh, working on, uh, every now and then we would work on the Rosie O'Donnell show opening. Oh, okay, that's the one for which he got his two Emmys. So now that's the second question you guys asked. You said, hey, what's up with the Emmys? And how did you get your Emmys, Scott? In the garbage. Okay. In the <laughs> how did you get your Emmys? <laughs> In the garbage. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> All right, come on. Uh, yeah, so I was working on, I was working for uh, Magna Pictures and uh, one of our uh, clients was um, was the Rosie O'Donnell show and uh, we would um, we would do the show opening for the Rosie O'Donnell show and so she happened to have been connected with the Emmy people and, and uh, got our title up for uh, Emmy consideration. All right, and you want for title design? Yes. Which year? Uh, 99 and 2000. Excellent. So this was just a, this was just two of your questions. I'm going to just squeeze them in as much as I can all week so we can, um, you know, instead of doing a standalone video because it's just, we don't have the time. So I'm going to prepare all of my ingredient list. I'm going to take you to the supermarket with me and then show you what I bought, tell you what I'm doing, and then I'll be filming every single day until the day after Thanksgiving. So that's going to be a video every single day and they may be a little behind, so you'll have to forgive me for that. But in case you didn't see the videos from last year, there's a whole series down below for all of the... Um, no, not here on the screen. There's a whole, I can't. There's a whole 
a list of videos down below stop for um, cooking recipes that I did so you can follow all of my step-by-step -step instruction to do an entire meal for Thanksgiving I already did that last year so I'm not gonna do it again this year but I'm pretty much gonna do everything so this year instead I'm doing a day in the life and you're gonna get to follow me for about five days every single day all right so let's start with the menu for Thanksgiving and um, they're in no particular order but here's what I'm going to make this year I'm making mashed golden potatoes with leeks. This is a Williams and Sonoma recipe. I'm doing spinach with raisins and pine nuts. That's another Williams and Sonoma recipe. I'm doing the leek and sausage stuffing. This is the one I did last year. This is from Martha Stewart. I'm doing cornbread, the regular GF, no big deal. The cranberry relish is going to be made from scratch. That's my own recipe. Uh, the turkey is already in the fridge. I bought a frozen one. It's fairly big, actually. It's over 24 pounds, I think. It's a pretty, pretty big turkey. So that particular turkey is defrosting in the um, fridge right now. And the turkey is going to go in the brine and then with a rub. So I'm going to do the brine probably on Tuesday night. Again, today's uh, Sunday. Uh, the gravy that's made from scratch with the uh, drippings from the turkey. The dessert, I'm not making a pumpkin pie this year. For some reason, the kids always ask for one and then they never eat it. But they will eat my apple pear cranberry pie. So that I'm doing the night before Thanksgiving. And then on the side, of course, we're going to have the sweet potatoes with the marshmallow. And because I'm already going to the supermarket, I put a list together for the regular stuff that I need to buy for the week. You know, like the oatmeal and the milk, and I know I need the olive oil, but right now this here is going to be my list for the Thanksgiving dinner. So I have my Williamson Sonoma book. Now, all of these uh, that I'm showing you, the links are going to be down below. This is the Williams and Sonoma cookbook, the essential recipe collection for today's home cook. It's a very good book. Uh, even the dogs like it. You see, it's been chewed up everywhere. That's the beagle. He'll eat anything, including cooking books. So, just going over the uh, ingredients from the book, see what I have here, what I don't have, and what I need to purchase. And then I'm just going to do that with every other recipe that I'm going to need, since I have the menu right here on the other page. The most, the majority of them, I know how to make them already, so I know what ingredients I need and don't have to go and find the recipe for them. So I have my list, um, most of the prep ingredients, you know, the flour, the sugar, things like this I have. So the, again, these are just the regular items I gotta get and then this is per recipe and then sometimes some of the recipes call for the same item depending on, you know, which recipe it is. Like for instance, I need leeks for both the mashed potatoes and the stuffing, so I gotta make sure I'll get the right amount. I need 12 licks this year, so that's uh, a little expensive. Plenty of butter, and then it goes all the way in the back here, so I'm just gonna go ahead to the store and take you along. So I'm here at my shop right right there and this is my list. I'm just gonna go in, get everything I need and get out of here because after that I need to go to Ace Hardware.
Okay, so I'm back and it was a zoo at the supermarket. The line uh, was actually longer than picking up the stuff and putting it in the cart. And I had to dodge literally three managers because they don't really like it when you're filming in there. So I had to like check on them, look over my shoulder. So I'm sorry if I wasn't able to show you too much of the supermarket, but you know how it is. They don't really like um, having people filming. And it's the kind of times where we are a little wary of what could possibly happen so if somebody's coming over with a camera and taking pictures of a location yeah people get a little you know uh, worried about that anyway so uh, we're back in the kitchen and I got everything I needed it's all here in uh, three two six seven bags and by the way I got a free turkey because in my supermarket, and I'm assuming that everybody else does that, but let's just put it this way, at the shop right, if you spend a certain amount of money on groceries, uh, the 30 days prior to Thanksgiving, you get a free turkey or free ham. So I picked a free turkey, and look, it was 29.31. It's a 19 pounds, 67 ounces turkey. It's frozen solid and it's gonna go straight into the garage over there because I have a big freezer so instead of putting everything on the counter like I always do I'm just gonna go one bag at a time and file the stuff because this is otherwise it's gonna take forever so let me just start with the first bag and of course not everything has been bagged together so I have a lonely Yopa yogurt or your crunch this is your crunch your crunch Yopa uh, I think about six they must be somewhere in those bags so that's one I got to put to the side butter I, butter I bought two of those this is the unsalted variety I only buy unsalted and I did get three bags of cranberry so I got two in this one bag the other one I got to find and these are just regular Eggo waffles buttermilk that's for the kids breakfast and this is the thick cut smoked bacon which I'm going to put in the uh, stuffing I thought the stuffing for some reason was a sausage stuffing it's actually cornbread leeks and bacon stuffing it's delicious so um, that's that let me put that away and get to the next bag in bag number two it's mostly vegetables I got carrots I'm going to use that for my stock uh, these are the lemons I'm going to use that for the brine so now I did buy the same brine kit that I purchased last year at World Market. So you got the brine, the brine bag, and then the rub to put on the turkey. With cedar spice turkey rub, complete kit. And this was really, really good. So I'm adding rosemary, fresh rosemary, and lemon to the brine when I'm ready to brine my turkey. So that's the reason why I bought some lemon. Uh, here's my third one of cranberry. These are the pecans um, that I purchased for the stuffing and the pignoli nuts that are going in the spinach side dish. The pears, that's for my pie. These are oranges that I'm going to use for juices and I'm particularly interested in the zest for the cranberry relish. I have a bag of onion here. I actually have a second one somewhere in there. And then these are the yams to make the diced yam with marshmallows. So the onions and the yams are going to go back on this counter over here. And then the rest I got to put in the fridge. This goes to the pantry. Bag number three. And uh, this is part of the regular shopping list. I have some steel cut quick three minute oatmeal that's the blueberry and cranberry one I haven't tried this yet so I'm kind of excited about it actually because I like the steel cut better than the regular oatmeal and then this is the one that my husband and I like a lot that's the actual ShopRite brand and this is strawberry and cream instant oatmeal I bought some aluminum foil even though it wasn't on the list and the only reason why I did that is because every year whether it's Christmas Eve or Thanksgiving, I run out of aluminum foil in the middle of my meal prep and I have to send the hubby to the Walgreens, if it's open, to get some more. So I'm prepared this year. I got an extra roll. These are the marshmallow, the little tiny, tiny one to put on top of the yams. I don't like it at all. The kids love it. That's not my thing. It's too sweet. And actually, I never liked marshmallows. Um, this is the Jiffy Corn Bread, about four boxes. Two of them are for the stuffing, uh, the Martha Stewart stuffing recipe, and two of them are to make um, corn muffins for the meal itself. And then they were out of the Filippo Berrio olive oil, so I'm trying this Tuscany extra virgin olive oil cold press 
I don't know. Um, it was, I think, $17 for this whole bottle here. Two quarts, 3.6 ounces, or two liters. Uh, olive oil is expensive, but I'm going to try this because I totally have no olive oil in the house right now. Bag number four, I have the rest of the Yo Crunch yogurt for the kids. And I think this one is the strawberry granola variety. So I got three of those and then three of these. And again, you must be tired of me telling you this, but these are the Willy yogurts. It will not eat any other kind of yogurt. So there you have it. But some sour cream. Uh, this is not a reduced fat. It's a uh, full sour cream. I need one cup of that for the mashed potatoes, so that's about half of this container. The rest I'm going to use throughout the week. More of those um, edamame with sea salt, about four of those bags, they were half price. So it's a dollar and 49 cents per bag. These are great for a quick side for dinner. Another one of those butter, these are chestnuts. Let me open the bag so you can see. I'm going to use, peel them, chop them, and they're going inside the stuffing. And then I bought a whole gallon worth of milk. I'm going to need that throughout the week, as well as for the mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving. And in my fridge, I organize all the yogurt in one of those uh, plastic containers. I do that so that way they don't... No, the shit, that's not for you. No. Uh, I do that so that way it, they don't fall all over the place and they go right here when they fit like this so I keep them in here so the kids know where to find the yogurts and that way they don't fall all over the place you know you always find a yogurt all the way in the back this is the turkey by the way I'm keeping it inside its uh, roasting pan and it's on top of the uh, grid that goes with it that way the air can go underneath it and uh, I can get an even fall out of it it's uh, starting to fall so that's good the fridge is pretty cold right now so it's not going to be one of those deals where the turkey is going to be bad within three days. Remember, I'm not putting it in the brine until Tuesday. Bag number five, I have two big bags of spinach. That's going to be for one of my side dishes. Remember, I'm making sauteed spinach with raisins and pignoli nuts. Here's my fresh celery. I'm going to use that for the stock. These are the potatoes for the mashed potatoes with the leek. These are Yukon Gold and it's exactly four pounds, I believe. Nope, five pounds. Garlic, that's a staple. And then the other um, bag of yellow onions. So this, this, and this are gonna go on the counter over there. The rest, if I have the room, I'm hoping, will go in the fridge. Bag number six, uh, regular shopping. I bought some cheapo tomato sauce for, you know, weeknight dinners, whatever I can make at the last minute if I'm coming back from work a little late. I'll make pasta with tomato sauce, orange juice, that's for the kids' breakfast, the raisins, that's for my spinach dishes. I bought more apples because we're starting to run out of the apples that we purchased um, at the apple farm, if you remember that one video. So these are empire apples. You see how big they are, so I don't know how good they're going to be, but we got more apples. And the leeks. I have a whole bunch of leeks. There's nine of them all together in here. So I think that's the last thing I'm going to be able to cram inside my fridge. So I also bought some bread. This is natural harvest honey wheat made with whole wheat. Uh, 8 grams of whole grain. It was $2.49 for a pound. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't the cheapest bread there, but it definitely was not the most expensive. So that's for our breakfast in the morning. And then soups and stews. DIY instant soup cups. Just add water. This is from Better Homes and Garden. Um, I don't know. I'm going to check this out because we really, really like soups. So I'll let you know in my swatches and stuff whether or not this is um, a good magazine. And... I'm going to show you what the fridge looks like because everything has been put in already. Um, so I have salad in there. These are two um, sweet potatoes I have left from a couple of days ago. There's some leftovers over there. Turkey is here. These are all my vegetables. The milk is behind with the orange juice. Yogurt you've seen, cold cuts over there. And then these are all the cranberry, the vegetables and the other fruits that I have. No, it's not for you. And then over here I had to move the extra shelf that was there and then that's pretty much the inside of the fridge so that was it uh it's 4 20 in the afternoon i'm going to have a cup of tea and a little bit of a snack and after that i'm going upstairs and i have some work to do in my bathroom i'm going to spray paint the shower a door frame if you remember that if you've been following my channel you know what i'm talking about and that would be it for me so everything has been put away we need to take the dogs out for a long walk before it gets too dark outside 
and yep yeah, so that's the end of day one of my thanksgiving prep i hope you enjoyed it and i guess i'll see you tomorrow thank you for watching you guys bye